Welcome to Unglue Modeler, part three of the Buffalo build. We are ready for the maiden flight. It's alive! <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to part three of the Buffalo build. Uh, in this episode, we are going to be, um, as you can see, doing the final setup. We got a uh, prop balancer out and the Buffalo here. So, balancing the, these Buffalo propellers, like everybody said, these are way out of balance. Um, it took quite a bit, so we didn't film it. Uh, we've been working on these for about an hour now. Um, but we got them pretty good. So one of them was better than the other. You can see this side needed a little aluminum tape. I used the tape method rather than sanding, um, rather than sanding material off of the heavy blade, I put tape on the light blade. So either way, I, I don't know, some people say you, you shouldn't be sanding stuff off of the blades, but either way, I put some tape there and you can see it's uh, weighted good horizontally. And you're probably seeing this big glob of CA on top. Um, that's for the hub balance. So when you go into the vertical plane, it stays pretty good. There's a little bit of movement, but that's acceptable in the hub range. There you go. And then you can spin it around to the other side. Oh, and it fell <laughs> off. Let's get back on there. This is my homemade, my homemade stand, so yeah. it's a little janky. So what you're supposed to be able to do is any position that you put the blade yeah, in. Yeah, for the most part, any position, stay. it should stay pretty much where you put it. It did before. So you can see. Even at the. It yeah. moved just a little, but that's very acceptable. Yeah, it stays. Huh. But, so you can see in this position too. So this is really good. Way better than the prop that it went out of the box. Um, this is CA, and we didn't have any kicker, so we used the baking soda trick. So I don't know if you guys um, know about the baking soda trick, but instead of just sitting there waiting for it to dry, if you don't have kicker, sprinkle some baking soda on it, and it hardens up instantly. It turns the CA into a little cloudy, little cloudy blob, but I mean, it instantly it hardens up. So it's a cool trick. Um, and then we got we did a second prop while we were at it. Um, you can see this one did not need any tape. It was actually the blade's balanced. horizontally balanced, but the hub was out. So when you put it vertically, it would fall to the heavy, or sorry, this is the heavy side. So it would fall to the heavy side. So you put the weight on the counter side. But if we put this one on here, it's the same thing. You can put it anywhere. So anyway, we balanced up two propellers for the Buffalo. Um, if anybody has any questions, uh, leave in the comments or whatever, and I can try to help you. But um, these are, like everybody says, these are way, way out of balance, well, they're... out of the box. And these are APC clones, and I think that's probably, you know, the biggest reason. APCs are really nice. These are just um, knockoffs. Yeah, knockoff APCs. So you can get them to work, um, but they do require some balancing. I don't recommend straight up using them out of the box because I. I put mine on the Buffalo and I fired it up and, and that thing was that thing was vibrating pretty good. Um, I could feel it just holding the plane. So I don't recommend using them right out of the box. So we're on to the setup and the control throws of the Buffalo now. Um, I think in part one or part two, we, we set up all the linkages and got the controls going the right way, but we didn't set up any throws. So we're gonna do that now. I'm using my Tyrannus, the X9D, so I'm not gonna go too in depth into the menus of this. Everybody uses a different radio system. Um, I think most people use Spectrum for airplanes anyway. Um, I started off, well I still am a quad guy, so I do FPV quads, that's why I have a Tyrannus. Excellent radio, love it, but it's the menus are, they require some getting used to for sure. So we're not gonna go too in depth on that. And um, we're gonna be using our, uh, Turnigy 2.2, 2200 milliamp, uh, 3S graphenes. Uh, Pilot Robert and Captain Blosh recommended these. Thank you guys, I love you guys. Um, you're hilarious. And um, yes. well, Pilot Robert said these uh, give you a really good CG. So we're gonna try them out. Um, I haven't even checked the CG yet, so we might have to add a little weight in the nose also, I don't know. But Pilot Robert had really good uh, luck with these. So My favorite Slovenians. Out. Yeah, they're they're great. I love Very sexy. <laughs> All right. 
Let's plug this in. Let's see what we're working with. Welcome to OpenTX. Find the battery lead. Flight mode normal. All right, throttle's down, prop is off. Remember everybody, mm. safety. Safety first. Safety first. Leave the propeller off when you're doing all this type of stuff. Controls, setups. You do not want the propeller spinning up on you. Um, yeah. Plug it in. Let me switch the model over to the Buffalo. There he is. Flight mode normal. Probably should have done that first. All right, let's unplug this and start. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Do a quick control check, just make sure everything is how we left it. Elevator goes up, elevator goes down, rudder left, rudder right. Fire, signal, critical. Ailerons. Oh. Telemetry lost. When you push left, the left goes up, when you push right, the right goes up. Alright, so that's all good. So now, mm -hmm. I need to go get my phone because I need to look up the <laughs> throws on my phone. To so the phone. I forgot. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I'm back. I got my phone. I forgot that I uh, I had a screenshot of the um, throws. The throws, because um, yeah, they don't give you a manual anymore. Remember, so you gotta go on Hobby King's website. So I just took a screenshot of the um, the the throws setup. So anyway, for elevator, they recommend eight millimeters, which is not much because I've heard this is a very sensitive elevator. Mm -hmm. So eight millimeters, we're gonna do elevator. Rudder, 15 millimeters, and ailerons, 14 millimeters. So uh, let's just start with the uh, start with the elevator. All right, there we go. Yay. Elevator's done. So you can see, full stick, oh. full stick. Look how little it moves. Yeah. Huh. Eight millimeters in each direction. So that's not much. Nope. All right, elevator's done. Let's go to rudder. All right, so we got rudder set, next ailerons. And I remember ailerons was 14 millimeters. So it was, uh, this was 15, I remember these were 14. So okay. same process. Okay, looking good. So now in the setup, it also recommends 30 to 35% of the exponential expo. I always like a lot of expo. So we're gonna go to 35 on the mm -hmm. expo. That's usually what I fly with anyway. I just like a real soft, center all right so we balance our props mm -hmm. we've got everything all dialed in the control throws the exponential dialed in um i think next step cg we're gonna work on cg all right yeah whoa <laughs> not even close not yeah. even close all right everybody after a few attempts we finally got it or what we think we have, uh, we think we have a pretty good CG now. It's slightly nose heavy, but nose heavy is always good. What did you say about nose heavy? <laughs> As they say, Mary loved this. I told her she, first time she heard it. So a nose heavy plane flies poorly, but a tail heavy plane flies once. So it's, <laughs> it's and it's pretty true. Well, it's actually very true. I know um, uh, flight test always says it and it's very true. Yeah, you, you take off with a tail heavy plane, you're gonna be lucky to even get it back. You probably won't get it back. Like I said, it's gonna crash. Tail or nose heavy and you might, it just might fly a little weird, but you're definitely gonna be able to fly it. So, we so put, anyway, we're in a slight nose heavy situation. We put one and a half. We had to do one and a half ounces. Of lead weight. Of weight, of lead weights here on the nose. And hot glue. And the hot glue, which is probably minimal, but it definitely yeah. adds some weight. A little bit, yeah. Um, who knows, without the hot glue, it might have been a perfect CG. But like I said, slight, it's slightly nose heavy right now, which I'm fine with. Again, you always want to, um, if anything, a slightly nose heavy situation. So let's get this reattached. Um, yeah, let's get this reattached and then we'll do a prop run up too. All right. Okay. So we're gonna hold the plane, obviously. <laughs> Get away from any things that <laughs> blow around. And yeah, let me look here. this should be a lot smoother. Yeah. I can feel the way less of a vibration. Yeah. 
Much better. Even sounds. Yeah. So when really we good. when we first fired it up, um, it vibrated like crazy. I was a little nervous, and it made a weird noise. It makes this weird like buzzing noise. You can always tell when a propeller's out of balance. It it buzzes like crazy. But I'm happy with that. Yeah, we're all set to go flying. All we have to do is a little Velcro on the receiver and glue these two little exhaust stacks on, which just are purely cosmetic. So we're gonna do that off camera. Then... But um, when you when you see us back, we're gonna be we're gonna be doing the maiden. We're gonna be flying it. Cool. All right, everybody. We are down at our little runway here at our house. We tried finding some places in town and. While there were some good fields, I just wasn't comfortable um, maidening the buffalo in these fields. There was either a lot of houses nearby or um, a lot of kids or something. So anyway, anyway we're, we're gonna try it at the runway we have at our house. Um, and we're also wanting a little bit of a grass runway. <laughs> so? This is what we get. We made our own grass uh, runway. Grass. I got some uh, big square of fake grass. Um, we went to Home Depot to try to get a few more of these. I wanted to make an actual runway. But of course they were out of them. So we just, we got one of them. I'm gonna aim for it on landing. The chances of me landing on this are slim to none, but I'm gonna still try. Hopefully um, the way the buffalo lands, it's more of a plop on the ground. So hopefully I can get the initial plop on this piece of green grass. Uh, based on my other airplanes that I fly down here, this is usually about where my airplane plops. So. Plops. <laughs> so All hopefully right. we can get the initial plop right on this green grass. So we're ready to maiden it. Let's do it. All right, so I volunteered Mary, volunteered Mary Hi. To, uh, to toss this plane. It's been recommended for the Buffalo for the first, for the maiden flight, have somebody else toss it so I can be ready on the controls. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> uh, after it's all trimmed out and you know what it's going to do, then you can toss it yourself. But people have said for the initial flight, uh, just <laughs> have somebody else toss it so you can be ready on those controls. Kind of briefed Mary on what to do. Um, hopefully she gives it a nice toss. Right. So remember Mary, I'm gonna go back to where I normally fly from and then I'm gonna throttle it up and then just wait for me and just give it a nice, more of a push than a throw, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, so Mary's gonna throw it and uh, then she's gonna come back to where I am on the flight line. All right. Pulling in a second. Ready? Give it a toss. Yep, we're good. I threw it right. Ready? I threw it right. Did I not throw it right? Well, that was anticlimactic. So, all right, everybody. So we crashed. So sure you it. saw we just crashed it. A um, couple things I we learned from that. Um, that's just part <laughs> of maiden in any plane, doing the maiden flight for any plane. Uh, you don't really know how it's going to behave, and I don't think I had enough throttle in. I don't know if Mary tossed it hard enough. Yeah. And I was standing too far back, so once it went below our um, tree line, our or, little ridge there, yeah. I lost sight of it instantly. When I should have been over here, so I could have kept flying it. Um, I cut the power when I lost sight of it. It's better to crash with no power than crashing under full power. So I lost sight of it and I just cut the power and um, decided that was the better option. But anyway, we had a little bit of damage. It ripped the rudder off. So, so got some tape. in order to continue on the Maiden, I just did a tape hinge. I'm gonna order some uh, some of those nice plastic. I think Jabro makes them. Yeah. I'm gonna order some of the nice hinges tonight. Hot glue um, on the... So we still tape hinge, had some dings on the wings. I put some little hot glue in the holes. Um, New problem. <clears throat> I did break a propeller, so. <laughs> good thing we made two. So yeah, good thing I, uh, good thing I. Um, balanced both two. Balanced two of them up, yeah. All right, well. So we're gonna try this again. Hopefully it. we can get the maiden flight done with our ugly buffalo. Ugly. I'm probably gonna order. I don't know. I might just order a whole nother buffalo tonight and make this a spare 
a parts buffalo or maybe a trainer buffalo because I do like this plane a lot and if I get good at flying it I would like it to look a little more look a little prettier than this one I don't know I don't know we'll see all right let's do it all right let's go fly I'm coming over here with you we're I know watch it. we're just gonna I'm gonna start walking back Mary you throw like a girl Is that recording? yeah <laughs> all right so I'm gonna go probably a uh, full throttle I, know. I just you want more thrust. I can okay. see down here now. Okay. I just want a clear shot to get back to the... This, this time I am going to throw up. Well, yeah, just... I want to try. Yeah, no. don't go like straight up though. No, no, no. All right, I'm going to give it some throttle. Ready? Yeah, go. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to give it some throttle. She's a squirrel? Flying, but I think I boy. So I you? I want more elevator. Yeah, yeah she she woo. she dropped a lot again when I threw her. Yeah, this isn't going to be a pretty landing, guys. I don't know about that eight millimeter recommendation, unless I did something wrong. Nice and quiet, though. Well, let's let's get a high speed pass if I can swing it around and not crash this thing. Wow, it is twitchy though. And that blends into the sky like... Yeah, because she's blue. I don't know about that 8 millimeter. I think I want some more. It is twitchy, that's for sure. And it wants to drop. I got to trim in some, almost like reflex on a wing. Holy cow! Yeah, this is not gonna be a pretty landing. <laughs> I could, I think this thing's gonna. Uh, woo! Might be an interesting video. Oh, it already has been. <laughs> it is very twitchy, even with that eight millimeters. But I, I don't know. Maybe I. It just drops when I let go of the elevator. I'm holding up elevator in for it to just stay. Like low. all the way up. Oh, there she is. Yeah, it's hard to see, that is for sure. Yeah, I gotta trim it, but I don't dare take my hand off it for long. Let's see if I can... Whoa. That is a warbird. She's a dive bomber. Yeah, this is my first warbird, guys, so... Oh, boy. <laughs> so, I don't know. I've heard... I, know, I mean, I know war, warbirds are a lot more kind of sketchy than normal. High wing planes and wings, the flying wings that I'm used to, those have a lot of lift, but man, this thing needs some trim, but it is. <laughs> oh boy, see what, like, right when I let go of the control, she was. Oh, she just drop. dives. Well, let's try to just set up for an approach here. Oh boy. I just want to see. I know you got to carry throttle in for landing. Trying to trim the elevator at least. Yeah, it's a little better on the elevator. Need the little right ailerons for trim too. That's a lot better. Two point zero. It's flying now, so there. I mean, yeah. At least we got it in the air. We're flying it around. I'm just getting used to it. Maybe that's all it is. Maybe the eight millimeters is a good setting, but okay. Yeah, I think it just needs a little right aileron. Let's bring it around. Man, that blends into the sky like holy moly. I might order the yellow wing because I can put the yellow wing on here. Oh, yeah, and then... Let's try a loop-de-loop. -loop. No, easy. sorry. I didn't like the setup on that. You did something. Oh. Yeah, it was like a... I think that's called a split out or a wing over. I don't know, something like that. I better start trying to land this thing. I think my timer said two minutes. Where's... Oh, man. She's quick. That's well, like that's half, pretty throttle, fast. But half throttle, guys. It is nice and quiet, though. I like that. Let's try an approach here. This could get ugly. Mary's usually pretty good with her nerves about an airplane coming flying at her. Yeah. Let's go around. We'll oh, be yeah. lined up. 20 seconds. So. Oh, boy. Man, this is going to be an ugly landing. <laughs> 10. Nine, just like, aim eight. for the lawn. Yeah, I'm just trying to get it lined Six, up on the runway. Five, four, three, 
Three, two, one, zero. Go around. <laughs> Man, I gotta, I think I'm just, I'm nervous. Well, I'm definitely nervous, but I gotta, I think make my final approach a little longer. I'm, I'm doing my final approach like my flying wing. Oh. This thing just carrying a lot of speed. I think I got, I need to bleed it off a little more. <laughs> oh, man. oh boy. Jesus. This thing's coming in at like 80 miles an hour. <laughs> it's just going so fast. It just doesn't want to slow down. I'm definitely getting used to the way it flies. There we go. Alright, we're putting her down. <laughs> what happened? Okay. <laughs> well, at least you're a typical one. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that's a typical warbird for you. Well, at least you're like a kamikaze. covering me. I wouldn't have gotten hurt. Oh my goodness. So, I don't think uh, maidening this plane at our little runway was uh, smart. <laughs> I think even if you crashed it on grass, man, that thing came in hot. It would not have done I'm well. I'm just not used to flying, I guess, a warbird or. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's flying around just fine, but landing it, I've heard this thing lands very tricky. Well, now you know. I just couldn't get it slowed down. Yeah, I know. I, I was know. here. It just doesn't want to slow down. But, <laughs> I mean, it came in pretty hard. Obviously, we broke the propeller. Um, Cockpit flew off. The, no the motor's still attached. Um, yeah, the little canopy flew off. I mean, this thing will definitely fly again, but... <laughs> it's actually pretty sturdy. Oh, I broke uh, the elevator tab off. Oh, ah. But this is all fixable stuff. Yeah. Well, uh, scrunched it in here. Oh, I gotta get used to flying this thing. I don't know if this is a good place to fly it. That definitely broke. Well, I got some repairing to do. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, I guess the mate. Let me unplug this real quick. Yeah. So, I mean, the maiden flight... I guess you could say the flight portion of it was successful, but the landing portion was not. Um, a lot yeah, of fun, was, though. Great aircraft. Yeah, I'm just not used to it, or I don't know. I don't know what's going on with it. I think I may have... I don't know. Did I... I don't know if I set up the 8 millimeters wrong. But... Yeah, I know this is a very squirrely aircraft. Every review I've read, I said, I've read that it lands weird. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I still like it. It's a great plane. Highly recommend it, especially for the price. I got this on the flash sale, so yeah. uh, I'm going to get it repaired. Um, yeah. you know, it's just some foam, nothing, a little hot glue and tape and I don't see anything like broken, broken. So yeah, we'll fly it again. Um, but as far as the Buffalo build video, that's pretty much it guys. Um, there's the canopy. Let's check out the canopy came flying off. I think that was a pretty impressive crash. So it definitely made a divot in the ground. Check this out. Oh, here's the other part of the propeller. Oh, there she is. Uh. <laughs> so yeah, there's the other part of the propeller. But here's where she nose dived right here's in. Where it hit the ground. You see the big divot? And <laughs> just flipped. Yeah, she hit hard. I couldn't slow this thing down. I think I'm um, just. I'm just. You know, not that good of an airplane flyer. I'm used to more of a high wing plane and... And it's um, a different aircraft too. Totally different aircraft. Yeah. A warbird versus a flying wing like the Texumo. Um, yeah. I think I just got to get used to it, but... Cool. Yeah, still learning. Well, that's going to do it for the... Uh... Mary, come around here. Oh. No, you want to... <laughs> no, maybe. <laughs> well, that's going to do it for Unglue Modeler, um, the Buffalo build. So we had a pretty awesome crash. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the process, but that's part of flying planes. Um, well, we're going to get it fixed and fly it again. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.